both Moderna and Pfizer have announced that they are working on Omicron specific vaccines if they are needed. But just how will that impact people getting the boosters or their first doses right now? CBS 17's Maggie Newland getting answers for that tonight. Maggie. Rod and Angela, if you look at various pharmacies, it seems there's a pretty significant demand for boosters right now. Some are booked more than a week out, and that demand may pick up. Tonight, the CDC changed the wording of its recommendation. Instead of saying all adults may get boosters, they now say all adults should. Go get the booster shot today. Addressing the nation about the newest coronavirus variant, President Biden urged everyone eligible to get vaccines and boosters. Although there's much still unknown about the Omicron variant, researchers say vaccines are the best strategy we have to fight it. For every other variant, even Delta, for which they were not created, they've actually worked really well. Dr. Cameron Wolf, who specializes in infectious diseases at Duke, says scientists are studying whether vaccines are effective against the new variant. In the meantime, both Pfizer and Moderna have announced they're working on shots specifically targeting Omicron. So should you wait to see what those studies say before getting a booster? Dr. Wolf says no. We don't know yet if it's going to outpace Delta like, and become the most common thing. And it takes any company realistically probably three months but at a minimum before they could get um, a modified mRNA into a vaccine that they can then distribute to a population. While it's important for vaccine makers to prepare for any possibilities Omicron may bring, the Delta variant is here now. Dr. Wolf says we know vaccines and boosters work against Delta and will likely offer some protection against Omicron as well. We have a thousand people in North Carolina's hospital. They've all got Delta, 100% of them. And even the worst case scenario, Omicron comes here and becomes quite busy. You having had a booster will up your antibody titer, likely up your cellular defense and you're less likely to get infected. That, that, that's been true for all variants so far. And as scientists work to figure out more about this new variant, Dr. Wolf says it is still important to remember you can protect yourself in many of the same ways. In addition to vaccines and boosters, masking and distancing still work. We're live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. All right, Maggie, thank you.